Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my um, empties for January and February 2014. I wanted to double up on the months because I'm doing kind of a no buy kind of situation and so I wanted to see like what I could really use up in that period. Today is the 26th. Um, I couldn't wait till the exact end but I don't think that there's anything else that I would even uh, used up so it doesn't really matter. I have quite a bit of stuff and it's like right down behind me. This piece of hair is... Oh, it's driving me crazy. Anyways, I have so much. Um, <clears throat> and I'll tell you like if I would repurchase. Yeah. Um, the first thing is the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Body Scrub. And I loved this. I use every last drop. I got this towards the end of November, I believe. Uh, mid to end November. So it, you know, it lasted a good time. Um... The smell is amazing. I would repurchase. I'm thinking about trying like to make my own scrub, um, but it kind of sucks that I've like I can't make that exact smell because that's really what got me. Um, next, I have the Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps, and I have it in lavender. I really liked this for a while, but if I used it to clean my brushes and I was using it for too long, it would make my skin turn like a weird gray color. I don't know if that's ever happened to anyone. Um, I didn't look it up. I just like got grossed out and was like, I cannot wait to be done with this because it was so weird. And when I use it to wash my face or body, it stings a little bit. Like it's very natural, but it's also very, very strong. So I won't be repurchasing that. This is in all of my empties and well, not all of them, but most of them. And it's the BioTrue. Um, I don't, I don't know if people care about <laughs> like this kind of stuff but I always think like I wish I would have known that this worked um, you know sooner because I have really dry eyes so it helps a lot for my hair I have the L'Oreal high color highlights for dark hair only in red um, I used it with either 20 or 30 developer and my hair was dark brown so now it's back to being red but it's like a dark red so um, I'll repurchase that. It's the only red that I've used on my hair, but I love it. This is the Ardell Brow Trim and Shape, and it was a set of three, and I used them to, um, like, shave my face. I don't know how I feel about it anymore, though, because I started breaking out, like, really bad around November, September, I don't know, towards the fall, winter of last year. Um, which is the same time that I started using this. I, I honestly don't know if they're related, but it makes me a little nervous. So I, I'm not sure. I'm on the fence about it. Um, I might do a little bit of research and see. This is usually in my empties. It's the Bath & Body Works um, Antibacterial Soap in Caribbean Escape. I love this smell and I will repurchase. This is the Bath & Body Works um, candle. Wow. Huh. In the sunshine state and it was kind of tangy. Oh my god. It smelled so good. I forgot it was so good. Sorry for my reaction. It smelled so good. It's just like tangy. I don't know how else. It's like passion fruit and papaya and mango and oranges. It is the best smell. I, I want to smell like that as a human being. Um, this is the Matrix Aqua Immersion Cream Mask Deep Moisture for Dry Very Dry Hair. And I really liked it. Um, I want to say it was like 15 to $20. Oh god. It doesn't smell like anything. Um, I won't be repurchasing. I got another hair mask that was like $6. And I just, I don't know, for that much money. I don't know why I'm so cheap about hair care. But I, I won't repurchase. But it is very good, like if you don't mind spending the money, but I'm cheap. Um, this was the L'Oreal Volume Filler Fiber Amplifying Concentrate. And they're just like these little tubes you use once a week. Um, and I don't know how often you can reuse, like, use them again. So I used these like the first three weeks, I think in January or mid-January. And I really do think it makes a difference. And I would repurchase. I have really fine, thin, curly hair. Um, this is my deodorant. I don't know if you hear, but whatever. It's here. The Mitchum Advanced Control. I liked it. It's okay. I mean, I don't know. It's not okay. It's good. Um, I always think there could be something better with deodorant, so I don't know if that's just me or whatever. Um, I feel like that's the same thing about foundations. Like, there could always be something better. Same thing with deodorants. 
Okay, this is the Living Proof Prime Style Extender, and it was just like a deluxe sample, I guess. I probably got it at work. I don't know. I don't know. I work at Sephora. Um, I thought it was okay. Like, It's okay when I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair, so I just want to put something so it's not like completely dry, but I, I wouldn't buy the full size. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous Foundation in 857, and I would not repurchase. I, at the end, like, it looks like there's a lot in there, but really there's not much. Um, at the end, I just could not bear to use it anymore. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't understand. I loved it so much for a long time, and then something clicked, and I was like, over it. I won't repurchase it. You know, if you have, I think, normal to a little bit of oil, Excuse me. Um, I think it would work, but very oily skins, I don't think it's going to be for you. Or very dry, I don't think you'd like it either. This is the Skin Smit, uh Shave Gel. I always, always buy this. Or the Target version, except the Target version, sometimes the thing breaks on me. Um, I always have one of these, so of course I'll repurchase. I have one now. This, um, if you've ever watched one of my empties videos before, then you know what I do. Um... I just like when it comes to lotions or other things that I can break open I feel like why wouldn't I get like every drop this is the Victoria's Secret sparkling oh good citrus lemon escape lemon sugar and coconut I don't know why they would give it so many names it smells so good does anyone remember the Girl Scouts um cookies that were lemon and it was like a it was like a Oreo but lemon I don't know it was like a shortbread ish kind of cookie and then lemon filling Someone tell me the name of those cookies and then tell me why they don't make them anymore. I don't understand. They were amazing. I don't like any of the other cookies. I did eat almost an entire box of Thin Mints uh, like two months ago, but I was having a moment. <laughs> but I don't like them. I don't know why I just told you that. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Anyways, um, I would repurchase. I love that smell. I kind of, I don't know, I kind of want to stop using scented body lotions and I watch, um... Ashley Taye today and she was talking about it and I was like oh, I really want to like stop but it's so hard like when it smells so good I don't know why I'm so worked up about this right now I'm gonna calm down this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in caramel but my phone all silent and I love this I already have a backup um I got it in gratis at work but I would spend my own money on it uh, I got this one in gratis too so I just got really really lucky um and the color is perfect. I know caramel seems kind of light, but it's it looks perfect in my eyes. I don't have it on right now, um, but I really, really like it and would recommend it to everybody. This is something I got, I think, in my, uh, not glossy box, birch box. Um, and it is Liquid Professional Volumizing Catalyst. And it says spray 10 to 20 times in towel dried hair. 10 to 20 times? That was like the entire thing. Um, yeah, I would not purchase this. Why would you need to spray something 10 to 20 times? I have other sprays, volumizing sprays that I really like. I, I wouldn't purchase that. This is, oh god, I thought that was gonna fall. The Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging Shampoo and Conditioner Sample. I thought it was okay, nothing to like freak out about. This I used last night. The Glam Glow, I have the full size, but I got this with something and I'm trying to be really good about using my samples because I am one of those people that like I'm a hoarder um, I don't know if you follow Pink So Foxy last year when she did her whole like um, like declutter thing and she showed like all her samples like a uh, good six months ago I was like almost there like I had so many samples so I was either giving them away or actually using them and when I was in the process of moving to Miami I um, packed up all of my perfumes and um, like skincare stuff and I only used my samples and I still had like dozens of samples left after that so trying to be better this I am so excited about I feel like I should have a moment of silence are you ready okay this is the color whisper in made it mauve and I would never ever buy this or any other color whisper I don't know why I'm like looking at the camera the viewfinder thing um ever again I I don't know what it's like the smell it feels weird on my lips like like my lips 
are allergic almost. They, I don't have a reaction. Like they don't swell up, but the it's like the taste or the there's something in it that just bugs me. Um, I like the lip butter better. Oh god, no! I would never, ever. Does that mean I don't know? This is a sample of the Anastasia. Um, uh, dip brow in dark brown. I accidentally, like when I was doing my brows in the morning, I left it open so I could have done my brows a few more times. I know that looks like nothing, but it lasts so long. Um, but yeah, so I accidentally left it open so that dried up. This is a little sample of Urban Decay Eden Primer. This teensy little thing lasted me at least a month. It's ridiculous. So... Yeah, there's that. This is a sample of the Murad Overnight Soothing Gel. I honestly never used it. I had it for so long, and I thought I needed to get rid of it. This is... I, it's the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation in Fawn. I did not like the way that this stayed on my skin. Like, it is super duper high coverage, but on oily skin, like, it broke up on my skin. It was like this weird, creepy, creamy mask. I did not like it. And this is the same one in bamboo. I just, oh, couldn't do it again. This is the, I think it's way, it could be we, but it's the Golden Root Purifying Mud Mask. And it has kind of a weird smell. Um, I like my Glam Glow better, so I would not purchase that. This is actually like on my face right now, but it's underneath foundation. I just used it as a moisturizer today. It's the Hourglass Illusion Tinted Moisturizer in Sand. It is A, too light for me, and B, I don't really do tinted moisturizers. I've never found one that I'm like dying over, so I would not repurchase or purchase it. And plus like, I just don't think a tinted moisturizer that's that expensive, like, probably I think it's like 40-ish dollars, um, I, I don't understand. Uh, this is the Maybelline Dream Lumi in Radiant. I would totally repurchase it. It is fantastic. I used it to the very last drop. In fact, like you cannot see the words on it. Um, this is the Clinique uh, Bottom Lash Mascara. I really liked this for a while, and then I kind of got out of the habit of doing my bottom lashes. And so it really just dried up. I wasn't able to... Oh, it is super dry. Um, use it a lot. I think it was in my, like... Um, stop shopping like my stuff that I wanted to use up so yeah it was really good I don't know if I'll repurchase I don't know if, if I get back in the mood of doing bottom lashes um I would repurchase this it's only like ten dollars which I think is a deal I mean it's tiny but whatever this is the Dior Dream Skin I'm kind of obsessed and I want it um, but it's a hundred and five dollars so if you're interested in like buying me the best Christmas or birthday gift ever hook it up. Otherwise, I, I might get another sample sooner or later, but I just really I cannot justify $105 or $110 at this point in time. I don't know. I really want it though. This is the Dip Brow in Chocolate. It's the one that I have a full size in, and the same thing happened. I could have used it a few more times, but my dumb butt left it open. Yeah. Almost done with this bag. I have another bag to go. This is oh, this is Lancome Tainted Ultra in 410, except it's empty, so I don't know where the um, the actual sample is. All right, almost there. You like you don't even want to know what my table looks like. This is the candle in Palm Beach. It was really really good, but at the end, you know, sometimes candles will have like a oh my god, my hair. Um, like a smoky scent because of the the wick got that smoky scent the Florida one didn't get the smoky scent so um, I love the smell of the Palm Beach one but I like the Florida one better this I am so happy that I'm done with it it is the Urban Decay De Slick Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray. I told myself I wasn't going to do an empties video until this was gone, and I finished it today. So that's why I felt okay about doing this on the 26th instead of, like, the 28th, because I'm really, like, that crazy about it. Um, I don't think this did jack, to be completely honest. Like, I just, I don't think it did anything, so I won't ever repurchase that. This is the Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. Um... I feel like people don't ever talk about this, but I have used them religiously for ever, like since they first came out, which was like when I was in high school, I think. So, I, oh God, I'm old, like eight years, maybe more. I think I've had this conversation before with 
you know, with the camera. Um, I love them. I don't use them on my forehead because I don't get blackheads on my forehead. I just use, like, if I do get the ones that have uh, for the forehead and nose, I just use the ones on the forehead on the nose too because whatever. But it's usually cheaper when you have that, like, combo pack. This is the Up and Up. That's Target. A cleansing towelettes and exfoliating apricot. I really actually liked these. Um, I keep on saying I'm going to stop using makeup towelettes, but it's really convenient when I go do yoga because when I bring my face wash, I feel like, I don't know, like I'm taking up the sink and everyone, I don't know. I just feel weird about it. So I, I like the wipes. Um, yeesh. This is the Victoria's Secret Smooth Effects Lip Scrub and Balm. I am so going to repurchase this. It's so, so good. The lip balm is fantastic. The scrub is fantastic. No complaints. I'm just trying to finish up the lip scrub I have right now. It's been a while since I filmed, so I keep on looking in the viewfinder. I'm really sorry. I'm trying to stop. This is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Endless Mascara, and I really did like this. I think I got this in an influencer box. All right, so I legit have like two seconds left before my camera cuts me off. Um, anyway, so yeah, Batiste, I uh, always have it, I'll always love it, and I'll always repurchase. And then this was just, I think, Walgreens um, hand sanitizer. I always have hand sanitizer at my desk. And that's it. I'm so excited. Woo -woo. 